All right, Sketchpad Podcast, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. So, we're going to watch Candace Owens talk about P. Diddy. New allegations. Hey, man, we be back. Sketchpad, you know what it is. So look, we're going to watch Candace Owens talk about Diddy and the situation he's in right now. So look, let's go. Very late posting today. Sorry, I had a crazy day, a very long day at the doctor with my son. But episode today, insane. Um, if you are watching this and you have not yet read the lawsuit, it is a 70-page lawsuit and it is, I promise you, worth the read that was filed against Diddy. I know him as Diddy. You might remember him as Puff Daddy, P. Diddy. He's had many names, but I am telling you, this is as big or bigger than the Jeffrey Epstein scandal. And it, there is now no question that there is some sort of a gang that is running both our politicians and all of Hollywood. So obviously I go through the entire lawsuit on my podcast while well, I just go through the parts I think that you should really remember. But case in point, essentially what we understand is just very similar to what was happening with Jeffrey Epstein situation. You know, Diddy was the Jeffrey Epstein of Hollywood, essentially getting blackmail on people in the industry who work under him, allegedly uh, drug fueled parties. This web, this uh, lawsuit was filed with pictures and they claim to have video evidence of everything that's being asserted that essentially they are getting, they're drugging men and drugging women, getting them to engage in sex acts. And then they own these people essentially because they have blackmail, which is crazy because so many of us have wondered. And I don't know how many times we are going to be told what is happening when our politicians go to DC and seemingly forget that they're supposed to be representing the people. Who are they serving? It's obviously not the American people when Lindsey Graham dances around and demands another war and says bomb Iran. It's very obvious to me that the elites have already decided that they want to go to war with Iran. So why is he saying it? Well, well, there has been a lot of evidence that Lindsey Graham is a homosexual man. If he is, I would imagine it was not that difficult to procure blackmail on him. Looking at this Diddy website, I mean, looking at this Diddy lawsuit and reading this and understanding that these producers are even being told that they can give them Grammys, you know, which means it's an entire cabal that is operating in Hollywood. If you do this homosexual act, I can get you producer of the year is what this lawsuit is alleging, um, that the person that sits on the top of this ring, or at least in terms of Diddy, is a man known as Lucian Grange, which is interesting because his family um, also worked very closely with the Beatles, and then he changed his name from what it was in London, and now he goes by Sir Lucian Grange, and allegedly him and Diddy were locked in a room for hours together whenever he would come visit. He is the CEO of Universal Music Group. But the scariest part of the lawsuit, and you guys have to listen to this because this is something that Americans need to wake up to, is that the producer is alleging that he shot someone in broad daylight, referring to Diddy. Like Diddy and his son got into an argument, the producer was sitting in the bathroom and he shot someone and everyone then gathered around the body and there was a guy that you're supposed to call and he can get it all cleaned up. So you can literally murder someone if you need to and you call this number and the LAPD will basically just write a fake police report and they did. So the producer has the evidence that he's got, like I said, tons of pictures showing that everything that he's saying is true. And it's got blood all over the toilet seat, blood inside where he says that did he shot the person before somebody called the ambulance. And yet then he shows you that when the media reports the incident, the media says that there was a shooting outside, a drive-by shooting, and they don't know who it was. So that means that the media is working in lockstep with presumably, by the way, you have to presume the FBI or intelligence agencies are in on this. If the LAPD is getting rid of all this evidence, if Diddy murders someone and they just make it go away, the only person that could make that go away would be the authorities. So the implications there 
are that the journalists, our intelligence agencies, and virtually um, all of Hollywood is in on this, that it's a blackmail mm -hmm. ring that's operating. And it's really interesting because there is this comedian named Cat Williams, and he recently went on Joe Rogan, and he was talking about this, basically saying that people need to wake up to the fact that entertainment is not, you might find it entertaining. Again, he's somebody that's on the inside, but it is meant to brainwash you. Hollywood is a psychological operation. It is the most severe form of psychological conditioning that exists today outside of the public school system. It is meant to train you how to think, not to teach you uh, to think independently, but to make you think that something is cool or aspirational. It's supposed to uh, make you love materialism to envy their wealth. We wonder why it is that Hollywood is so forgiving when people are clearly perverted in Hollywood. Like, you know, Woody Allen accused of raping his sex child, his child when he was seven years old. Hollywood doesn't care. He's allowed to make movies. Roman Polanski admitted to raping someone. Hollywood doesn't care, allowed to make movies. Well, all of that now makes sense when you put it into the context of a blackmail ring that they would encourage homosexuality because it's an easy way for them to be able to procure blackmail. Very severe stuff, guys. And um, I'm looking at your comments and everyone is saying that you're not safe. Yes, I'm very aware that even talking about this, like the fact that the media is just crickets on this should let you know that it is very plausible that media members as well are being blackmailed. Right, So they are being blackmailed into sub submission to write whatever articles, whatever the theme is. And yes, this group clearly has a lot of power. If they are running both DC and running Hollywood as well, it is functioning like a gang. America is not an independent country is what it signals to me. You've been wondering why these weird agendas are coming down the pipeline because they are collapsing us from within. I don't know. Like I am just like processing this information and going through this lawsuit and seeing this a second time and seeing the media again try to look past it. We just we have to be awake. We need to be vigilant. There also seems to be a strange attack on Christianity Christianity everywhere, um, mm. which I find to be really interesting and it, it, it makes sense. It, they 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 worship the devil. I mean, there's no other way to say it. These people quite literally worship the devil and they are participating in every ill pedophilia is, is the main thing because once you can get someone on camera having sex with a child or someone that's underage, you own them, you own them. So we need to make sure guys, and I'm sorry to rant about this and please watch the episode, but we need to raise our children to want nothing to do with Hollywood, nothing to do with it. Hollywood is not for our entertainment. Again, it is to warp our minds. That is a takeaway. And yes, every person that talks about this is, endangered there's no question about it but to me personally the truth matters more because irrespective of what happens to me my three kids have to grow up in this society and if we don't start telling the truth about what we know is going on there's no chance for them so anyways enjoy the episode yes i'm glad to, see, to hear people um you know praising god in the comments and praying every single day because we are, we are, it is the forces of good versus evil right now. Something very sinister is going on. And there's no way that you can deny it after reading that lawsuit. Um, link obviously is here. I'll also post it below. Thank you guys. And I will always speak out. Always. All right, man. Ken Zones. Yeah, man. So she said a lot there, man. I'm going to tell you like this, man. I always been saying this for a long time Hollywood is a place where demons roam man. it's always been that way and it's always going to be that way when you have a lot of money to the point where you have unlimited money not a lot of money but I'm talking like you ain't rich you're wealthy you get you get bored you start to do things that you typically wouldn't do because you got nothing else to do. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted to, I wanted to, I was trying to shoot Diddy some bail. And even in a couple of episodes I did on my other show, I try to shoot him some bail, but it's gotten to the point where you can't really, you can't really deny it now. It's a lot going on. So we'll see what happens, man. You know what I mean? 
Because you got something to say? Man, um, I mean, we we spoke about this plenty of times before. Uh, this is not nothing new. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I mean, obviously, we don't have the uh, the following of a Candace Owens, but we did. We did kind of mention a lot of these things, you know, in the past, past videos and whatnot. Um, yeah, you know, ain't no, ain't no uh, covering it now. It's out there, you know. Um, it's in the public eye, and uh, I believe more stuff is going to come, you know. Um, like, the thing is, man, with 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 uh, people, man, especially the most powerful, powerfulest, uh, you know, beings, you know, that control everything, is that they think they're so powerful that they can't be touched. So when when things happen, and they do get touched, you know what I'm saying? Then it's like, oh my God, like it's a shocker, you know what I'm saying? But you only are untouchable for a certain amount of time, especially in Hollywood, especially in an entertainment industry. It's always going to be somebody that's going to have a one up over you because that's how they keep everything in line. They keep everything in line by having one up on another person. That person has one up on you. You got one up on the next person. I mean, we could name a bunch of people that are, you know, getting flamed right now in entertainment you know like we just spoke about playing times we vince he's getting flamed diddy's getting flamed there's others they just have not came out into the open yet but in entertainment you're not safe if you don't abide by what they want and what they say you're going to get flamed and as far as the uh the whole christianity thing i mean that's nothing new that's nothing new they uh They've been trying to promote, you know, these activities into the school system for years now. This is nothing new. It's just now it's, you know, it's being publicized. You know, you uh, you can see plenty of YouTube videos with certain um, news broadcastings that they're bringing in this demonic activity into the school system. They got book clubs with this demonic activity and all types of stuff and, you know, and people are fighting against it, you know. So, um, so far, we ain't seen none of that down here. I pray to God we don't see nothing like that down here. But, but yeah, you know, it's it's nothing new. You know, it's going to continue that way until, until you know, one lets up. So, hey, you know, best stay guard up, protect your children, protect your household. Yeah, man, you're right. Hey man, you know what it is, man. Sketch pad, we out of here. CRP. Shout out to Kansas on too, man.